Once upon a time, there was a lead of monsters named Dun living near Chengang City. Although he has a scholar's face, he uses virgins to maintain his magical powers. Every time before the solar eclipse, he would send mountain trolls to kidnap children in Chengang City. The little monk Liu is one of the victims. When he was still a baby, his parents took him on a journey in the mountains, but they were attacked by mountain trolls. To prevent their child from being persecuted by the trolls, his mother jumped off the cliff with him. Later, the monk Fa discovered Liu, who had survived by the river. He brought him back to Chang'ong City and raised him carefully. Liu loved to hear the legend of the Monkey King since he was a child. He has been always longing to have magical powers to defeat all monsters just like the Monkey King but his master only wants him to be a good monk. This day, mountain trolls came to Jiangong City to kidnap virgins again. Although the residents recognize the fight against them, they are no match for the trolls at all. When Fa finds Lear in the chaos, he also finds he has just saved a little girl from a troll's hand. They hurriedly hid under a nearby stone statue, but soon are discovered. At the critical point, Fa turns over the stone statue in time and let Lear run first with the little girl. Lear runs all the way and doesn't get rid of those monsters who have been chasing after him until he falls off the cliff. The next morning, according to the guidance of the Master Groundhog, Lear climbs to the nearby Wuxing Mountain to pick up fruit for eating. However, a mountain troll jumps out of the bushes when he is picking up peaches. Lear is scared and hurriedly climbs into a narrow hole in the tree. It is dark in the hole. He walks carefully down the tunnel. Then he finds a huge icicle tied by chains, and he touches it curiously with his hand. By the slight touch, instantly causes the icicle to break, and the huge impact explodes the hole. Several mountain trolls who had been waiting outside for a long time take the opportunity to squeeze in the hole. Lear quickly grabs a chain. As a troll is pouncing to him, a huge rock suddenly turns up under the ground, and then a monkey climbs out from the rubble. This monkey is no ordinary monkey. He is no one but the Monkey King, who has been sealed in Wuxing Mountain by the Grand Buddha for causing havoc in Heavenly Palace. However, those trolls don't know who he is and rush forward blindly. Though being bound by chains, the Monkey King beats them without much effort. Then, he turns to the two children hanging on the chain. After making sure they are not a threat, he turns around and leaves. Lear hurriedly follows him out. The Monkey King thinks that he has finally regained his freedom and prepares to fly away immediately from the place which has imprisoned him for 500 years, but as soon as he flies into the air, he falls back to the ground heavily. It turns out that even if the ice seal is lifted and he can move freely, but the seal on his hand will still restrict him from using his magical powers. As the Monkey King is angrily complaining to the Buddha statue on the side, Lear, who is hiding behind a stone, learns his true identity. Finally seeing his idol, Lear becomes even more talkative. He keeps asking the details about the havoc in Heavenly Palace. The Monkey King is bored by him and wants to sneak away, but he can be found by him every time. On their way out, the Mountain Lord shows up and stops them. It is here to guard the Monkey King upon the order of the Grand Buddha, and it will never allow him to leave without permission. The Monkey King knows that he can't exert his magical powers, but he has no choice but to face it for the Mountain Lord keeps chasing after him, so he is cornered to the edge of the cliff. Seeing that the Monkey King is going to fall off the cliff, Lear quickly puts down the basket on his back. He climbs on the Mountain Lord and tries to tear the spell on his back. Then the Monkey King turns around and throws it off the cliff. Just when he is going to leave, the Mountain Lord grabs his chain hanging in the air. When they are deadlocked, Lear tears off the spell, but then he falls into the water with the gravel. When he wakes up again, he finds himself is back on the shore. Knowing it is the Monkey King who saved him, Lear feels very excited. Then he tells him why the trolls are pursuing him. Though distressed by the seal on his wrist, he pretends to look as if nothing had happened in order to maintain his good image in Lear's mind. When Lear is wandering around, he finds Pigsy in a ruined temple nearby. Pigsy was a war god in heaven. When the Monkey King was causing trouble in Heavenly Palace, Pigsy was beaten down by him and reincarnated into a pig demon. He was going to steal grilled fish, but Lear discovers him, so he has to pretend to be Buddha. But it doesn't take a while before showing his real look. When he hears that the monkey on the side is the Monkey King, he doesn't believe it at all and even tries to challenge him. As a result, with only one beat from the Monkey King, 
Pigsy is reminded of how he was beaten down to the earth back then. Lear whispers that the War God seems to be even less powerful than the Master Groundhog. After hearing this, Pigsy feels humiliated, so he prepares to become a panther to capture the Monkey King. But in the end, he turns into a kitty and is pulled by Lear to challenge the Monkey King. But when Pigsy meets the Monkey King, he displays cowardice. First, he transforms into a bug. Later, it disguises at the Lear in an attempt to fool them, but it doesn't take long to show his real look. His suddenly enlarged body bounces Lear directly to the edge of the cliff, and the white dragon living in the lake comes out. With a roar, the dragon wants to swallow Lear, but the Monkey King stops it in time. As the dragon is taking a good look at them, it finds that they are the ones who it has been waiting for upon the order of heaven. Then it returns to the lake. The Monkey King feels angry, for he is worried about the safety of Lier, but then he sees that the innocent Lier is not afraid at all. His anger gradually goes away. Then the Monkey King, Pigsy, and the Dragon accompany Lier on his way home. On the other side, in order to catch back the little girl, Dunn transforms two mountain trolls into human figures and let them wait in the inn, which they will stop by in advance. Pigsy feels the urge to poo, so as soon as he sees the inn, he cannot wait to rush in, completely ignorant the female troll who wants to open the door to welcome them. Unable to find the toilet, he has to poo in a water tank, not knowing that the other troll is hiding in it. Though being annoyed by Pigsy, the two trolls still buck up and lead them to the room for resting. The malicious eyes of the female troll scare the little girl to cry. After finally putting her to sleep with his doll, Lear is unable to fall asleep. Lying in bed, he excitedly chats with the Monkey King about Huaguao Mountain, which is the Monkey King's home. When Lear decides to work hard on reading the sutras with his master after returning home, so he can pray to Buddha to give the magical powers back to the Monkey King after hearing that the Monkey King is kind of moved. Before he can say anything, he finds that Lear has fallen into sleep. Later at night, Pigsy sneaks into the kitchen to find something to eat when everybody is sleeping. When he is stealing food, he happens to knock down the male troll who is going to attack him. Pigsy is afraid of being discovered by the female troll, so he hurriedly transforms into the male troll. But just after a while, the female troll shows her true look. Pigsy covers his mouth and wants to escape, but is pulled back and turns back into Pig. Finding herself being fooled, the male troll wants to beat Pigsy badly, but she is kicked out by the Monkey King, who is already seen through their tricks. Just as they speak, the strong wind blows in the sky. In a flash, countless trolls enter through the wall and rush to the second floor. As the Monkey King is fighting with them, the female troll uses the opportunity to sneak into the room. Lear is hiding in the room with the little girl. Realizing that the situation is getting worse, the Monkey King decides to let Pigsy leave with the children first, and he is going to take care of the rest of the trolls. When he finally beats all trolls in the end, Dunn conjures up another group of monsters immediately. Unable to use his magical powers, the Monkey King grabs a bamboo pole and continues to fight those monsters. Soon, he beats them all. Seeing all tricks he uses don't work, Dunn captures the little girl in person. Before leaving, he also humiliates the Monkey King. Next day, Lear asks the Monkey King to rescue the little girl, but the Monkey King has lost his confidence for last night's failure. Seeing that it is useless to beg the Monkey King, Lear cries and resolves to rescue the little girl by himself. When he is resting on the way, he happens to see two trolls who are going to attend the sacrifice ceremony of Dunn, so he secretly follows behind them. The Monkey King is very angry at his incompetence. He tries his best to break free from the seal, but he falls into the lake for being too anxious. The coldness of the lake reminds him of the past he spent with Lier. Then, he makes up his mind to save the children at any cost. On the other side, Lier has followed two trolls to the place where the sacrifice will take place. He disguises himself as a stump, but is discovered by those two trolls. Then, he gets stuck on the wooden board on the way to escape. Just as the trolls are going to eat him, his master suddenly appears and breaks the troll's teeth with a crutch. Being faint, the two trolls fall into the sacrifice stove. Fa wants to pull out of Lier, but he is stuck too tight. 
Then, they fall into the cage holding children together, and the cage starts to spin. After messing the sacrifice venue, the cage rolls out of the cave with the stove. Dunn is enraged, thinking it is the Monkey King who makes trouble again. So he pinches Lier's neck and asks him where the Monkey King is. Just when Lier is going to be killed by him, the Monkey King comes out of the Sea of Clouds under the cliff with the dragon and Pigsy and knocks over Dunn. After swallowing a mountain troll, the dragon hides in the clouds. Seeing the Monkey King coming to life, he, Lier, tells his master happily. Pigsy enlarges his body and rushes the Dunn with a nine-toothed rake. As a result, it suddenly turns into a little pig by the magic of Dunn and rolls to the foot of Lier. Without magical powers, the Monkey King is no match for him after fighting for a while. Just after making fun of the Monkey King, Dunn is hit by a rock from him. Dunn is furious and he throws the Monkey King to the ground and uses his powerful magic to him. The Monkey King is beaten to the ground, unable to move. But just as Dunn is getting close to the children, he struggles to get up again and punches Dunn away. After avoiding the magic sent by Dunn one after another, the Monkey King finally pushes him off the cliff. Being exhausted, the Monkey King lies on the board. Just when he and Lier thinks that they have finally won, the solar eclipse occurs and the sky becomes boundlessly dark. Dunn turns into a monster, standing up from the abyss and climbing onto the cliff again. Fa quickly brings children in Lier to run away, but the narrow road is smashed by Dunn. Just when they have no way to go, the Monkey King breaks the huge stone above the cliff in time and smashes Dunn into the abyss. But Dunn soon comes back and emits huge blue light waves from the mouth. The Monkey King is hit and falls off the cliff. Dunn waves his huge claws and punches the Monkey King into the cave. The Monkey King is suppressed and unable to move. Lear wants to rescue the Monkey King, so he gives the little girl to his master. Then he rushes into the cave, regardless of danger. When the Monkey King sees him, he yells at him to leave quickly. But Lear refuses to leave the Monkey King. He picks up a wooden stick and throws it at Dunn. It doesn't do any damage to Dunn, but it enraged him. He leaves the Monkey King and turns to kill Lier. Lier immediately runs away, but he is no match for the monster at all, so he is quickly cornered. The Monkey King pushes away the stone when Dunn's attention is distracted. As Lier is going to be killed, the Monkey King rushes over to save him, but is beaten away by Dunn and falls off a cliff again. When found again, Lier is buried under the gravel and seems to be dead. Holding Lear's hand, the Monkey King bursts into tears. He puts Lear's favorite monkey doll back into his hand. Then, he turns around with huge anger to take revenge on the killer. The Great Spirit removes the seal on his hand, and his all magical powers are back within a second. Once again, he becomes the Monkey King, who is extremely powerful. Recalling the days spent with Lear, he turns grief and indignation into strength and awakens the power pole. The great power directly cuts off Dunn's forelimbs, when the Monkey King waves his pole and ends the life of Dunn. Just when he is grieving over Lear's death, a familiar voice suddenly comes behind him and instantly pulls him out of sadness. It turns out that Lear is not dead, but just fainted after being seriously injured. At the end of the story, the Monkey King sends Lier and the children back to Chang'ung City, safely with a somersault cloud.